<laughs> G'day everyone, Adam here going overland. Uh, this week I want to do some repairs to my Max Tracks. Um, this set here is pretty old, it's actually gone through the Simpson Desert, uh, it's done a trip up to Bunny where we use it a fair bit. Uh, it's helped out a couple other people too, so this one in particular is really bad. Um, we're on a budget, I can't afford the $500 sets, uh, especially when I've already got two other sets of these. So, I'm going to show you guys a little tip to um, how to repair them. Alright guys, so I hope you like the video, give us a thumbs up. See how it goes, don't do this, don't rush off and do this straight away. Let's see how it goes up at, um, up at the beach trip and see if it snaps in half or anything. Sorry about the wind noise today, it is quite windy, but I've got to get this done today because um, I have no other time. So, um, yeah, if you want us along, hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. Okay, like I said, um, look, these have had a fair bit of use and abuse. Um, you're not supposed to spin your wheels on them, but sometimes it's unavoidable. Especially if you're towing, you sort of got to try and climb up onto these tracks. And sometimes the only way to do it when you're towing um, is to create a bit of wheel spin. Uh, that being said though, it does damage these really bad. Look, I looked into a couple of different ways to repair these. The first was, um, I got the idea from the Max Trax Extremes, getting their, um, their repair kits, with the teeth, which are threaded in, and looking at their boards, they're a little bit different to these, and I don't think it would work. I think if you just try and thread it into here, when your tyres grab onto it, it's just going to tear those lugs off, those alloy lugs. Then I thought, saw you could buy Bolton alloy lugs, which would work, but they're expensive. Um, I think it was $40 for a pack of six. Um, so to fix this board up correctly, it costs 120 bucks just for this one board, I reckon. And that's not replacing all these, it's just doing a few of them. So. Um, look, not very efficient way to go, especially when I think there's another way to go. Dad, can I go in the front? Recovery with kids is never simple. They always want something when you're in the middle of it. Dad, I need to go to the toilet. Dad, I'm fast. Dad, where's the M&M's? Dad! <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Dad! 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 <laughs> so, my idea is just to put some bolts in, some 8mm bolts. Um, well, I know it's going to have some advantages and disadvantages. One advantage is the cost. Um, another one is I can buy these from the hardware, so I don't have to buy them online. We've got a trip to the beach coming up. I need to get these sorted out pretty quick. Uh, this board in particular, there's not a lot of traction left on it. You can slide your fingers and hands along it. Um, look, one disadvantage though. Look, I don't know if these are going to cause much damage to the tyres. I keep, think if I keep the um, thread short on them, the minimal it'll be minimal damage on the on the tyres, but time will tell. In my head, it'll be no different to driving on sharp rocks and having wheel spin on sharp rocks, which is something you don't want to do too much of. I don't think these will puncture the tyre; they're too big for that, acting eight mil. And the thread's only going to stick out a couple of mils, so it'll be too short to actually puncture through the tyre. Another thing to consider when you're doing these is. These treads are designed to bend and flex. I think if you did a whole line of them, and every one of them, you would create a weakness in these, in these treads, and um, they might snap. So, with these recovery boards, I've only picked a certain few, and I'm making sure they're not in the same plane. Another thing is, it might add a little bit more weight to the recovery boards. Um, but with this board, I think I can get away with doing 12 to 14 uh, stud replacements, and I'll be fine with that. It's only a handful of bolts, so it's not that much weight really. 
All right, so tools we'll need. We'll need a multi-tool, but if you don't have the multi-tool, you can use a hacksaw. I've got a sander. Don't know how it'll go in the middle ones, but you can always hand sand them. You'll need your bolts. It's an eight mil. Probably only need about 15, 20 mil long. I won't really know until I drill the first hole. Um, grinder. I've got a few bolts from home. They're all different sizes, so the plan is rather than rush off to the hardware and buy a heap of bolts, I'll use what I got up with the grinder. I'll shorten the threads to the ideal length. And then a file, just to file the uh, top of the bolts. Some thread lock. Um, I've got a heap of nylon nuts too, which will be a better way to go than the thread lock. So I've got about 14 bolts, 14 nuts. Um, and the drill, 8mm drill to drill through the boards. I think that's about it. Probably a pen to mark them as well. Okay, this one in the middle here is a good example of what, what we'll do. It's very well worn, barely even a knob on it. And there's actually very little traction all the way along here. So we'll start with this one. The first thing I want to do is make it nice and flat. So when we drill through it, we can find the middle. Give that a quick sand. It's good. And then move that. 8mm drill bit, and drill a hole through it. Alright, so that board is only about, I'd say 3 or 4mm thick, so that's why I was thinking um, their original repair studs for the extremes won't work. I thought it, you could just heat the board up and thread them in there, but I think your tire gripping onto them will rip them out. So that's why I think the bolt way is the only way to go with these boards. That's it there. I'm pretty sure that threads are going to be a little bit too long. I reckon I'll cut one mil off that thread. So it's sitting out of the nut, maybe about four or five mil. And already you can feel just with your hand, the, the increase in traction, just that one will bring. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to get to work with these other ones. So one thing I am noticing is with the lock nuts, the nylon nuts, it's quite hard to tighten them up. There's not a lot of room in there for the socket. So if you are using lock nuts, which you probably should, maybe the longer bolts are a better idea. You can grab onto them with your pliers up on top. Yeah, 
yeah that's the way to go i reckon 40 mil bolts all on nuts cut the thread off at the end that'll be the way to go It'd be a lot easier than trying to get the socket in there a lot of them Move them out a little bit. All right, just check they fit together perfectly. Not a problem at all. Um, this like a little bit in any way from the Simpson Desert, but you can see the clearance under there between the bolts and the board on top, so no issues there. And I also measured the weight difference. It's only 150 grams heavier than this board here. So next to nothing really. Um, yeah, really happy so far. All right, that's it done. One of the easiest modifications I've ever done. Uh, it's for probably less than an hour and that's with recording um, yeah and you can just feel it with your hands how much extra traction this board now has it's just friction all the way along yeah really good loving it it's going to work really well but like i said don't rush out and do this straight away watch our next couple of videos when we go to um Stradbroke island we'll test them out there see if they bend and don't snap straight away they should bend and flex and bend back and um Yes, super easy. Anyone can do it. Basic tools. And in case you're wondering what these other two holes are in our board, we just got a simple um, mounting solution. Rather than buying their kits to mount them up, we just got on our roof racks two bolts, drill two holes, nice and long, and we just wing nut them on. So super simple, easy solution. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you got a tip out of this. Like I said, don't rush off and do this just yet. Um, in my mind it's going to work really well but um, it's just one of those things where it's the first time I've done something I can't recommend it just yet alright guys give us a thumbs up and um, we'll see you next week cheers guys Soft and powdery. But such picturesque spot.